There are a few choices to be made before downloading Kali, including running Kali 32-bit or 64-bit and on a computer with an Intel compatible or ARM processor. You must also decide if you want the full installation image of Kali with live DVD support, a mini installation of Kali that downloads the files it needs from the internet, or downloading Kali as a pre-built VMware or VirtualBox virtual machine image. Let's surf to the Kali download page and get us a copy. In this demo we will see how to download an installation of Kali Linux, verify the download integrity using file hashing, and how to download and install VMware Player. Here we are at my Windows 7 desktop. Let's open up Internet Explorer and have a look at the Kali Linux download page. Here we see the download links for Kali Linux images and all of the choices we have. Note that a full installation ISO file that also runs as a live DVD is a little over 3 gigabytes in size. The mini installers are only 28 megabytes in size, but they need to download operating system and tools components during installation. So the installation process using a Kali mini image does take longer, and it can't be used as a live bootable image. You can start the image file download by right-clicking on the ISO link and selecting Save Target As. If you use either the Firefox or Chrome web browsers, you can just left-click on the link and the file will automatically download with its proper extension. You can download the .torrent file for the Kali image files in the same way. If you are a BitTorrent user, please consider sharing all of the Kali Linux image files on BitTorrent if you can. If you want the pre-built virtual machine images of Kali, scroll down a bit and click on this link. Here we see the pre-built Kali VM images. The VM images are displayed by default. Click on the VirtualBox tab for the VirtualBox images. You download the VM images the same way as the ISO files by right-clicking on their link and choosing Save Target As. Notice the .7z file extension is correct. All of the VM images are packaged in a 7-zip archive file and are 3 gigabytes in size. You will need to use 7-zip to extract the VM files from the archive file. If you need to install 7-zip on your Windows system, you can download it from its home page at www.7-zip.org. One other important thing to note on the Kali download page is the column labeled SHA-1 SUM. These are the SHA-1 cryptographic hash values used to check the integrity of the Kali files you download. You should calculate the hash values of the Kali files you download and compare its hash to the same hash values displayed on the Kali download page. If the hash values match, you have received an exact copy of the file. If they don't match, there was a problem on the website or during the download process. You should delete that file you downloaded and try the downloading and hashing procedure again. For checking hashes on Windows, I like to use the Hash My Files tool from Nearsoft.com. This is a GUI application that makes generating multiple hashes for files as easy as right-clicking. Here we see the VMware image file I just downloaded. When I right-click on the file, the context menu appears and I see a Hash My Files menu item near the top. Once you have downloaded and run the Hash My Files exe file, this item will appear in the Windows Explorer context menu, allowing you to hash any file that you right-click on. After clicking on the Hash My Files menu item, the Hash My Files program calculates several different hash values of this file. You can check if the SHA-1 hash value displayed in Hash My Files matches the SHA-1 hash value on the download page by copying the hash value from the web page to the Windows clipboard. If the row in the Hash My Files turns green, the hash matches and the file I downloaded is an exact copy of the image on the website. Note that I'm demoing Hash My Files using the Mini Kali installation image because it is very small. Very large files, like ISO images, take much longer to hash. I want to entice you to download and try Kali as a virtual machine. If you do not currently have a virtual machine environment installed on your computer, I recommend that you try VMware Player for Windows or VMware Fusion for Mac OS X. 
Both of these programs are free for personal, non-commercial use, as is the non-VMware alternative Oracle's VirtualBox. Even if you don't want to run Kali as a VM, you can also boot up the Kali Live DVD in a virtual environment and try it out too. You get a copy of the VMware Player from VMware's website. VMware Player 7 can only be installed on computers with 64-bit Intel compatible processors and a 64-bit Windows or Linux operating system. If you need to install VMware Player on 32-bit Windows or Linux box, you will be limited to using VMware Player 6, which is just fine for running Kali. To install Player, just start the installation process and accept all of the defaults. There is no activation key to enter or marketing traps to avoid. After Player is installed, start it up and check for any updates using the Player Help Software Updates menu item, and then click the Check for Updates button. To run Player, you will also need to have virtualization support enabled in your computer's BIOS, and you should have at least 2 gigabytes of free RAM space available after your computer is fully booted, but before you start the Kali Linux VM or Live DVD. By default, Kali uses only 1 gigabyte of RAM, but you always want to leave some breathing room for your host operating system's processes. For more detailed information on requirements and use of VMware Player, have a look at the Getting Started with VMware Player guide, available on the VMware website. If you want to run free virtualization software on Mac OS X, then give VMware Fusion a try. If you want to run free virtualization software on Solaris, or are just looking for an alternative to VMware, then give Oracle's VirtualBox a try. In this demo, we saw how to download the Kali Linux Live DVD installation ISO image files, the mini installer ISO image files, and the Kali virtual machine images for VMware and VirtualBox. I showed where to find the installers for the 7-zip and hash my files tools, and how to check the hashes of the files you download to verify their integrity. I also showed where to download VMware Player 7 for 64-bit Windows, VMware Player 6 for 32-bit Windows, VMware Fusion for Mac OS, and Oracle's VirtualBox as a non-VMware virtual environment alternative.